Welcome back everybody to Deus Ex Human Revolution. Back here with Nina. See you Nina, I'm leaving you again. Go check out these other rooms. Why? Oh. Clinical trial log 11 slash 27. Attending Dr. Tiffany Kavanagh, Dr. Okay. Gary Savage. Observing Such Commander Peter Burke. Patient has been sedated and restrained. Administering compound P 026, 1.75 cc's. Injection via the left suboccipital triangle, isolating the neocerebellum and pontine nuclei. Okay. Well done, doctors. Appears that the spinal cranial replacement was successful. She's been stable for 48 hours. Replacing the upper column and posterior skull is more complex than your own hindbrain augmentation, Commander Burke. But it's well within our abilities. That's not our sticking point. I'm quite aware of what your sticking point is, Doctor. Get the results that I can use. Gary? Gary, she's waking up. Look at the alpha waves. They're attenuating. Blood pressure and heart rate are rising. O2 saturation is really low. Savage, get this under control. Tiff, increase sedation and disconnect the OCM interface. Get a dose of propofol ready, see if she stabilizes. It's not working, Gary, damn it! There's a rupture in the circle of Willis. Anterior cerebral artery, shit, shit! I've gotta get in there! It's already too late, Tiffany. You know that. Is it still alive? Shit. No. Now we've lost her. I don't understand, she burned out so quickly. Arterial degeneration was clearly more advanced than anticipated, but still, your compound should have worked. Dispose of the body. I'll have the next viable candidate prepared and sent down to you, Dr. Kavanaugh. Bastard. Is it still alive? Man, um... S.K. Jensen's probably not gonna let him survive. Just saying. Because it doesn't really deserve to survive. <sighs> it was until two. Low prostitute of his log went work. Female age unknown, Asia. Unknown, ID confirmed. Contratusions. Biopsy and acceptable values. Uh, female 25, Asia, no ID confirmed. Medical history, uncooperative, presence of social enhancement, compliance results, Burke, EMP field results, subject unresponsive, attention to no, preliminary examinations, Chinster Lab, Kavanaugh, who chained out. Transfer to Ayers, immediate birth transfer. What about you? Female age unconfirmed. Gall Gallagher L. Laura Gallagher. Sydney. Okay. Reported kidnapped by FSA. Secured raid on FSA camp. Wow, that's fucking. Her blood type's O negative, though. Everybody's been A negative so far. Transfer to lab care. Transfer to Pano 2. That's horrible. To get kidnapped, rescued, and then experimented on. That's just fucking brutal. Ooh, here. No, I'll wait. This one's different. The sleepwalking world. Wake up. Schemes of the Illuminati. They are driving first behind almost every major event in recent history. Dozens of smaller groups carry out tasks and spread influence, many of them unaware of the true nature of their secret masters. Many of them violently opposed to one another. These agencies include the Turtle Commission, the United Nations, the Priory of Zion, the Blitigerberg Group, the Rand Corporation, the World Bank, Majestic 12, World Health, Organization Unishef, Opus Devi, 
There are dozens of smaller splinter factions inciting or fighting as revolutionaries and terrorist corporate entities and even individual persons. This is happening now! They have stepped up efforts to destabilize the world's governments, forming many global crises, fragmenting the geopolitical structures as a precursor to enact a rescue plan that would cement the domination of their new world order. This is happening all around you! Yeah, good luck. Alrighty. Oh. Good. Okay. So far, so well. Of course. Access grant. There are 50 more credits. From Alec GL to Gary Savage. Um, Order VL. Hematological kit. 250 grams times 3. Hypodermic needles. 100 cc's of syringes. 1 times 100. Okay. 5 times cranio ron gears. 10 times decompression reticles or retractors. Retractors. 4 times 200 vinyl tin gloves. Numeral microsurgery drill. Uh, got a Gary. I pass on supplies, requisitions, VL, CO93XX to the depot, and it's been processed. Delivery will arrive by usual means, expected within 24 hours. Eric. Eric Nivshna. Uh, P. Burke to Gary Savage. Subject transfer. Savage. The next experiment of subjects is due to arrive. Storm or no storm. I will send some men to help you transfer the non viable survivors back to their holding cells. From there, they will be repotted and sent. Onto a mega ranch, where hopefully they will be more useful. The more should clear up all body, or er, should be cleared of all bodies as usual. Disposal and transport to Hangsha will be arranged. Despite yours and Dr. K Kavanaugh's confidence, I expect we will need the room. Also, I require an update on Loading Bay 3. Progress seems slow. It has been a week since the hardware was installed, and still it sits there empty. What is the holdup? It is of primary importance that the work version of the Hydra be implemented at the base. I do not understand your squeamishness, Doctor, and I will not stand for it. Get one of them in there and get it done, Burke. Keep Burke to Gary Savage. Um, all tests have been completed on IC5, Jane Doe. Neurotransmitter level all normal. Astrogenesis. Minimal, EEG activity normal, all their baseline results are well within procedure threshold levels, the genetic markers redivided, seem to be confirmed our results. There is still no telling how the interface will react under load, but it seems promising. I am still reluctant, but this may be the subject needed for your plan for wireless hydro functionality and direct connection to the defense unit in loading bay 3. Savage. This is good news. Remit the candidate to the morgue. I will be down shortly to complete the transfer. Doc er, have Dr. Kavanaugh repair the full implantation. Commander Burke. And Tiffany Kavanaugh to Gary Savage. Uh, Tiffany, I'm about to send a supply requisite to VL for the next series of tests. Burke has already put us on notice that the ship will be docking as soon as the storm breaks. So things will be getting busy in here. Also, I'll be leaving the base for a few days, so you'll have to handle the permanent tests. Bob wants to meet face to face about our progress. He seem he's also bringing Mr. Everett, probably one of his backers. Fingers crossed that I can convince them to look into Nano or at least get a look at Dr. Reed's research. I can't shake the feeling that we're spinning our wheels here. Try not to butt heads with Burke until I get back, Gary. Thanks, Gary, but I think I've cover I'm covered down here. If we miss any incident incident incidentals, we can always make make do. Besides, Eric's always delivers within a day, we can place another order. You've got to convince Mr. Page. I know what we're doing here is getting to you too. I know that the possible advances are incredible, but the cost, it's too much. I feel sick about what we're doing to these people. As for Burke, he better stay out of my way. T. Aw, oh, that's nice. I like T. Oh. Okay. 
got one of them. That's some ugly looking trash. Should call it Burke. Hmm. Okay. So technically we could have already been seen. So what did these ones die of, Savage? Complete neurological breakdown from the looks of it. Organ collapse, nerve degradation. Find him. There's been some trouble on the base. My man will take care of it. You were saying? We may be looking at serious cross-systemic failure issues with the OCM. It's those god-awful implants, Gary. The whole inhumane procedure. After a while, it just burns them out. Has this been happening at the other sites? We've experienced some die-off, yes. But I've been told Dr. Reed's research may offer a breakthrough. If we could bring her back here... That's not going to happen. Then we need to start considering other options. A nanotech-based solution performed on willing volunteers. And are you volunteering yourself, Doctor? Tiffany, please. I need to look at the raw data, Commander. If you would. I turned a blind eye to your little office romance, Savage. But if she becomes a problem, she will be volunteering. I'm gonna rip those fucking eyes out of your skull. I'm putting them on the glasses. Keitner. I found out what Burke's been concealing. The interrogation wing is some kind of medical testing facility. He's using the prisoners as lab rats. For what? Not sure. I'll need Burke's retinal scan data to find out. I can't download that without setting off a million alarms. However, Burke's eyes are enhanced, Jensen. He uses special retinal prostheses custom made for him by the Tai Young Medical Corporation. You want me to remove Burke's eyes? Not the ones he's currently using. Aww. He just received a new set this evening for when the cargo ship docked. With any luck, you'll find it in his office. Keitner out. Well, I am up here now. Okay. This, is my, this is my house now. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll never s this is an amazing spot to hide. Oh, that's how I got up here, this little divot. Okay. I see that. I don't care about that, though. Care more about this. this. Boxes, boxes, all sorts of things. Yeah. yeah. Typhoon ammo, don't care about. Care more about that book. Alrighty. The Intelligence Circuit. Expected, or excerpt from a talk given by Hugh Darrell at the 2020 Human Plus Conference at San Jose. We get carried away with the idea of bolting robot arms and legs to our fleshy torsos, but I firmly believe that the real core of what we can or what we can innovate lies within our meat. More specifically, in our brains. Deep brain implants are the way in which the human machine can truly be supercharged. Considering our grey matter, our neural DNA has been imprinted with a mammoth amount of information allowing us to parale parallel process huge and complex data sets in quick order but for that for all that our wet memories patchy and sporadic we lack the ability to communicate data in co complete fashion through the use of cognitive enhancements and plants providing uh, nootropic stimuli we are capable of creating a new level of neural synchrony that can effectively boost brain capacity via, via and via wireless data pers parsing, parsing, parsing. Subsystems, a form of radio telepathy, is a real and viable concept. Faster brain proce processing, more data reacting quicker, capable of streaming the data in real time to other simile, similarly accelerated post humans. This is the real frontier. Nice. Alright. Box, you, you got it. Okay. I'm assuming that triggers an alarm. 
there's nothing else. Just a book. Eh, it's a book. All right, and there's probably gonna be guards here now. I know, you know. God, I wish I could help you. Knowing how this game goes, though, you're probably gonna be dead when I come back. Oh, energy bar. No way. All right, might as well. I'll clear up some more space. We'll get some energy. Oh, there's a beer. That's two beers now I've left behind. An EpiPen. Like, did I just skip over these? Post interview log. The patient has been returned to detention area after sedation. The medical history gathered indicates that she's a prime candidate for inclusion. Similarly, all biological indicators fall within required parameters. Recommend preparation for stage one therapy prior to. Gary, have you seen this? Have you seen what's on this smart disk? He's gone mad. Tiffany, slow down. What are you talking about? Where'd you get that? I found it in the last shipment of materials we received. One of the boxes have been tampered with, blatantly. Someone was sending this to me, to us, to warn us about Commander Burke. But that sounds a little far-fetched, don't you think? I know the two of you have butted heads, but Bob's assured me that the Commander is with us on this. Really? So Mr. Page is okay with us using unwilling human test subjects, is he? What's his opinion on Bell Tower using the OCM to further their military aspirations? Ask him about this Hydra project. Tiffany, calm down. I know all about the Hydra project. It's nothing nefarious. It's simply a means of allowing soldiers to communicate more efficiently when in the field. You've seen Burke's augmentation. It has nothing to do with the OCM. So, you think his obsession with this technology is because he's an environmentalist? Gary, I know this bothers you too. Those poor women. We can't keep doing this. We can't just rush blindly ahead and let men like Burke pull our strings. Science has made that mistake before. I know. All right. All right. Let's go down below and contact Bob. We'll see what he has to say about this. I know he's intrigued by the nanotech possibilities. Certainly, he's disappointed with the results we have. Okay. So we get a bit more backstory on... Savage and uh, Kavanaugh and Bob. Good old Bob. Good old Bobby Bob. Activating security scan. Can you open the door? Please. SAS 106. Subject recognized. L? Access granted. Thank you. Alrighty. I will start worrying now. I'm not a terrorist. Doesn't You're look like anything has been activated further. This is a nightmare. I don't belong here. I'm sure you don't. Did I land on the rail? Wait, the Alrighty. Oh. Okay. Broke that. Good. Alright. Actually, I shouldn't be breaking any of those anyway. Because, uh, energy. I've got surplus right now. Aha! I missed you! And I found you. Alrighty. Good, 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 good. There we go. Almost another practice. Almost. Any other thing? Hello. I see you too. There's so much I missed. Oh, crap. Well, Access denied. I can check out this one in the meantime. Explorers. Oh. Oh, I thought that was an uh, ammo box. That's it? Really? Huh. Well, then we'll probably get a Praxis from this in a second. How did I. Huh. Okay. 
I wonder if there's one right there, too. Let's see how much time is left on this thing. Alrighty. Oh, that's a four. Access grant. Oh well. I'd rather not listen to that fucking alarm anymore. Alright, I'm curious. Is there one behind like this panel here? I've done nothing wrong! Or something? There's one there. No? Just unsymmetrical building. Okay. Oh yeah, you're there. Access granted. I like going through vents and exploring everything fully. Is anyone there? Oh, they're upstairs. Gas grenade. Okay. Did I access both of those? I did. Okay. Alright. So there's new guys for me to knock out. We got away with it. Oh. Okay. Get in the fucking corner with your buddy. Yeah, oh. yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. Just... Give him mouth. Give him mouth to, to penis. There you... <laughs> there you go. I'm sure he'll be resuscitated before we know it. The hacking's going over pretty well. I kind of feel like getting more energy. Just so I can start using the bigger things. There's another guy up there. And the only thing I think that might be different would be down there. He might not be around. I'll go check in a second. I'm kind of curious. Isn't there stairs over here? No, there's an elevator. There. There you are. Man, I really miss that seeing through. Shit that I had before. Because that was so useful. This isn't Burke's office, but I missed that. Holy crap, I missed those credits. How horrible of me. Oh, let me guess it's in Burke's freaking uh secret. Yeah, it's in his chest thing. Alright, we'll go see if the guy's still downstairs really quickly. I'll cut this in. I saw that! Oh, shit. Ah! That's awkward. Still not used to the not seeing them on the mini-map thing. Not gonna lie. Thought I was safe. Wasn't. That could have sucked. Yo. Ah, still alive, are you? What can I do for you? Tell me about the commander, Keitner. Lieutenant commander, officially. But the grunts don't pay no mind to that. She's the commander, as far as they're concerned. It's the Reds who stick to the formalities, you see. Because they're Burke's boys. The Spooks. Special Operations. You might say there's a bit of a... 
Division of loyalty among the troops. Between Keitner's men and Burke's? Aye. Since time immortal, there's always been a rivalry of sorts between grunts and spooks. I always assumed it came down to ego. But it's different here. Probably because Burke's different. What do you mean? Well, for a start, the man might be a righteous prick, but he's got the respect of his men. And the higher-ups think he's a visionary based on some fancy tank he drummed up a few years back. In other words, the man's got a lot of influence and a lot of power, and, uh... Well, I don't think that old proverb needs repeating here. Okay. What can you tell me about this base? Nothing you don't know, probably. To the outside world, it's a bell tower and evil logistics headquarters and supply point for their Pacific operations. Beneath the surface, though, it's much, much more. How so? Look, nothing personal, mate, but I prefer if the commander do most of the informing. As far as I'm concerned, the less I know, and more importantly, the less I say in this matter, the better off we all are. Okay. What exactly do you do here, Quinn? In a more civilized world, you might say I pass with the base's lead maintenance engineer. But if you look at it from Beltar's point of view, I might as well just be a glorified janitor. Pay's good, though, so, you know, not complaining. If the pay's good, why the underground market? Well, why not? You see, civilian contractors operate under different jurisdiction when it comes to bringing outside goods into the base. So while the rank and file grunts can only order and receive essentials, toothpaste and the like, I, being the entrepreneurial chap that I am, from a more uh, robust catalogue of goods and services. You know the sort. Smokes, beverages, and uh, gentlemen's literature. How does this involve weapons? Now, now, let me finish. As an enterprising fellow, I require an exchange of valuables for these slightly less than essential supplies, and often receive some very non-civilian contractor regulated equipment in exchange, if you catch me drift. Now, normally, I launder my stock through a contact on the mainland. But a deal in Shanghai recently fell through, so lucky for you, I've got some excess inventory to move. Consider this whole arrangement uh, a matter of mm, fortunate timing. And Keitner is okay with all of this? Uh, not exactly. You see, some time ago, the commander got wind of my little operation down here. But before she could throw me in the brig, I offered her something I knew she couldn't refuse. Information. I ain't bragging, but uh, I have managed to build myself quite a little network of sparrows and gophers. I'd known for a while that she'd been at odds with that prick, Burke. In the end, we reached a rather simple mutual agreement. I keep her in the loop, and she keeps my neck out of the noose, so to speak. Good for you. No. I just want to see. Yeah. Can't buy any more of that. I don't think I picked up anything to sell. No, no refunds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll activate the narrow thing. Right. Yep. <sighs> Too bad I didn't get a read on you. I really feel like you're an Omega. But you might be a beta. You know, they say I've got a little more luck of the Irish in me than most. So maybe we're like long lost cousins. <laughs> Since we're all family here, how about a little extra discount on your shop? Oh, fancy ourselves a little proper shade of green, do we? Like, I haven't heard that one before. Look, unless you're actually a leprechaun in disguise and pull a <laughs> pot of gold out of your arse while farting me a rainbow, you ain't getting nothing more than what's already on the table. Eat it. Oh, that was worth it. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Right. Yep. Listen, Quinn, I don't know whose side you're on, but I'm having a very bad day. So how about you do us both a favor and cut the crap? Kindner never said anything about paying you. Jesus, and I think I just gave you a bloody discount to begin with. You'll put me out of business at this rate. What, really? What are you about? Hold on. Holy shit, I can buy beer for five dollars. Yeah. Holy crap, that is quite the discount. Well, lucky for you, Quinn, I already Thanks gave you sure. all my money. Because I don't really care about your discount. Do kind of like farting out the rainbow stuff. Alrighty. Excuse me. Now we'll go and we'll touch Burke's eyes. And, you know. We'll, we'll do that thing where like they take a knife and they slightly cut a piece of the cucumber off. We'll do that with the eyes. Put them on our glasses. They'll never know it was me. Because I'm gonna forget about this guy if I don't take care of him. 
Good night, princess. Thank you for the pain pills, though. Oh, I thought that was a vent for a second. Wait. No one over here? Good. That's what I like to see. Anything new? No, feel that. Keitner, I've got the eye, but it's not going to fool a retinal scanner unless it's attached to an optic nerve. I know that, Jensen. I do have a plan. Take oh. the eye down to Quinn. He'll know what to do. Keitner out. Oh, I had to see Quinn anyway? God damn it. So that's why those guards were there. Okay, that makes sense. Makes sense where it was a pain in my ass. But whatever. Excuse me? Did I do that? I don't think I did that. No? Am I... Is this... Okay. That's what I thought. Doesn't look like anyone's out here. I don't remember those boxes being there, though. Also, it looks like there's... Oh. Have I been here before? Oh, this probably leads to the bathroom. Or one of the offices next to the bathroom. Am I right? Yep. Okay. Okay, yeah, I've already explored that. I just don't remember those boxes. Ah, at least we get a nice view the ocean and those weird looking waves nice relax hey Quinn can you put this in my head so what's the story just got off the horn with the commander she says you got something for me to take a look at prosthetic eye one of Burke's we needed to get past the retinal scan but it's useless like this I Without an active neural connection, it might as well be an expensive paperweight. <laughs> May as well put a gobstopper in front of the scanner for all the good that thing will do you. Solutions, Quinn. Think you can handle this? Lad, I may be just a mechanic, but I'm also the only thing keeping this whole bleeding facility from sinking into the abyss. Think I can manage a simple optic frequency bypass. Just let me get me tools. Okay. Quinn. Right. So that's it now. He got the eye. Sorry it took a little longer than I expected. Nearly break the damn thing once or twice. New TYM firmware and such. Now don't go fucking around with it. It's only got a limited lifespan due to the temp power source they rigged. It's only good for one use. Got it? This is pretty impressive work for a mechanic, Quinn. What's that supposed to mean? There's more old Quinn than meets the eye. No pun intended. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first fool to underestimate my know-how. Well, there's more to this job than just a simple battery swap. I saw you modifying the BIOS. This is state-of-the-art hardware and software. You're not just a mechanic. You're a hacker. What are you going on about now? Ain't nothing you couldn't pull off with a degree in computer engineering and a little elbow grease. Come off it now. We ain't got time for this. Is it supposed to be moving? <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Bloody creepy, that is. Try not to pay it any mind now. Things stuck in calibration mode. Trick is... I got it thinking it's plugged into a new host. And by rewriting the system diagnostic checks, it'll keep trying to connect without detecting anything's amiss, which in turn keeps it alive in a manner of speaking. Fucking brilliant piece of engineering work if I don't just myself. Beautiful. Why only one use? Without being hooked up to a proper battery, like your brain, the voltage spike from a single scan will trip the surge protectors, shutting it down to prevent further transmissions. It's a redundant safety mechanism built into the optic nerve to prevent frying your noggin in a dorsal ventral feedback loop. Short of putting the thing in your own head, which I ain't exactly equipped to do, there's no way around it. Okay. Besides, I think the commander preferred this way. All right. Well, hopefully this thing works. It'll work just dandy, so long as you don't do something stupid like drop it. 
And it ain't a bloody webcam. So don't try using it to spy the knickers up someone's skirt. All right, Quinn. I gotta go. I think it goes without saying, but uh, we never met, all right? I want to get into your room, though, Quinn. I want that freaking pack, Praxis. All right, I'm gonna save here, just in case we can't get back into Quinn's room. I doubt they let us into there before or during Quinn's arrival. But I think after he leaves, probably we can go into there. So I'm guessing he's gonna leave in manner of speaking, maybe? I'm really hoping he doesn't die. He's awesome. You're awesome, Quinn. Don't you die. You die, you suck. Did I go the wrong way? I did. God damn it. There we go. Access granted. Thank you. Alrighty, let's go see all the guards. I'm really not liking all the fucking explosive barrels and shit everywhere. It feels like there might be more to this this single room later on, but as it stands, I'm just gonna not even pay attention to that. Maybe they give us the barrels to deal with the robots. I don't know. I hope not. Oh, that poor Baxter. Never forget Baxter. Never forget. Alright. More scans. Subject recognized. Yeah. Access granted. Thanks. Alrighty. That's bugging me now. Oh, that's weird. How many do I? No, I don't. Okay. Let me go. I just want to go home. Can I talk to you anymore? You changed your mind. You'll let me out now? Please, they'll be back and I'll disappear like- God damn it. I'm sorry. See ya. Aww. So there's only three doors? Okay. I guess I could check the map for that sort of stuff, but that'd take as much time. Alright, Blinky. Do your work. Um. Access granted. I'd, I really wish they gents would have hold, held it up. And then, like, as soon as the scan's done, it just freaks out. And then he drops the eye, and it's just laying there on the floor. That would have been nice. Nice little touch, but as it stands, no. We don't. Jensen, it's Keitner. Where are you? In a well-concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen. You tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find. Holy fuck. Data pod one, two, three, four. Oh. Okay. Music's nice at least. Uh, more inventory maybe? More energy. Maybe more energy, or we just get that. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, this is a new change of scenery. I'm 
nervous as hell around about this place. Okay. Take any more. Want to die. Be free. Please. Please don't leave me like this. No hope. I can't pull out my weapons. So these are their installations. Oh. Um, okay. United States, Af or South America, Africa. Subject from Tiffany Kaveha, Gary Savage Gary. When you get the chance, I've received something on the lab computer that you need to look over. My logins T Kavanaugh, password SGS. Where is he getting this? T. Biotech industry leaders to debate ethics. The International Panel of Biotechnology and Ethics is Scientifically Research, IPBESR, has announced plans to convene early next year, uh, specifying to discuss the issues of future and medical augmentations. Specific objectives of the panel will be threefold, stated Christian Hogg, chairman of the Ghent University Bioethics Institute and head of the IPESR Steering Committee. First to hold the honest and honest and open debate on current practices real, uh, relating to neuroprosthetic research. Second to provide through forward looking analysis into the future of the human machine interface and third to evaluate current trends and emerging studies in less invasive augmenta augmentation technologies. The ISBESR's announcement continue, er, comes on the heels of growing public outcries over augmentation recalls and calls for a United Nations sponsored vote on industry regulations. Heavens to open to all, or heaven open, open to all. Page Industries has sped up its plans to build the first permanent commercial space station named Heaven. An orbit resort will accommodate 12,000 people and offer many five-star restaurants and hotels. Expect a cost for a night stay of 100,000 credits. We can go up there and stay one single night. Oh, you're right there. That's awkward. Can't take any more. I want to die. This fucking episode. And that's this base. Oh, that's Moon Base Omega? The fuck? And I've got the achievement I learned Scholar. <laughs> Great. Statistical analysis right. of latest implanted patients. Well, we'll go over all this shit. Uh, I'll read that too. We'll go over all this stuff in the next episode. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and... Man, we've, we've got a lot of answers to get. And we'll start getting those answers in the next episode. So, 
hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. I can't take cover. Fuck. Alright. See you later. Bye-bye.